Tens of thousands of vehicles and people travel through one of the busiest corridors and densely populated areas on East Oahu every day. Unbeknownst to them, sitting nestled in an ancient coconut grove behind a seven-foot-high cinder block wall lies hidden a sacred punawai, an ancient Hawaiian freshwater spring called Kanewai. It is in danger of being lost to development and privatization. Kanewai Spring sits within the Paiko Lagoon Marine Sanctuary on the shore of Mauna Loa Bay in Kuli'o'o and has provided water for centuries to Kanaka Maoli as well as the ships that would voyage the Pacific in the days before air travel. It also feeds an existing loko ia, an intact sustainable fish pond that was used to aqua farm mullet and moi to feed the Hawaiians of the past. The area that is called Hawaii Kai and Koko Marina today was once known as Kuopa. It was home to the largest fish pond system in the entire Pacific. Kuopa fish pond has since been developed into thousands of homes and residences, and by doing so has covered up and capped almost all of the springs that fed these ponds. Once one of many fish ponds that dotted the shore from Portlock to Kahala, Kanewai Spring and Fish Pond are what remains of this system and is the last of its kind. Over the last 800 years, there were 488 of these ponds that were built in the eight major Hawaiian islands. And today, there are maybe 15% of them that are left. The rest of them have, are gone. So what I'd like to tell people when I have the opportunity is that in our generation, the Hawaiian local ia and the knowledge that it has is on the verge of vanishing from the landscape. So it, things like this are very, very important. Um, so our kapuna have, have taught us, have taught me, you know, uh, from the beginning, you know, to think about seven generations. Um, and, you know, you can intellectually think about that, okay, you can do the math, you know, it's roughly about 150 years, maybe a little bit more. And, but to be in a framework and to, be, to have a mindset to think about making decisions that you make today that are going to have an impact 100 to 200 years later is really profound kuleana if you think about it. That everything that we do for that pond, every piece of information, we need to share it. We need to inspire the next generation and the next generation and the next generation, whether they're Hawaiian or not to understand the intersection of environmental stewardship, of cultural stewardship and preservation, and how do we link that to education For us as Kanaka Maoli, Ola Ikawai, water is the source of all life, not just for our streams, but for our communities as well. In fact, if you look back at depictions of communities in pre-contact Hawaii, for many of them, our freshwater springs or streams were the centers of our communities. And our, in fact, our communities were built entirely around them. In many ways, um, this was kind of the... Um, the koko, really, of our community from Makai. And so water was incredibly important to our people in many different capacities. In the upper reaches of the streams, this provided um, drinking water for our communities as water flowed from Makai. It fed our lo'ikalo and aquaculture systems, which were important not just because these provided um, the staple food for our people, but because they allowed us to malama aina. And then, of course, um, especially in this context in Kanewai Spring, having water um, come down and seep up in our mulivai areas or come up as springs was vital to support um, the connection between Makatumakai, especially for our native stream animals and for the animals in our mulivai area as well. From all that I've been able to see and watch and learn about this incredibly special place, it, it does sound indeed like a... Um, like a public trust resource and a, and a resource in peril at that. It's so unique, especially in a highly urbanized area like Oahu, to have a, a resource like the spring, and especially one that feeds a fish pond. And so I think it's fabulous that the community has been working so hard, especially in partnership with the Trust for Public Lands and others, to bring this incredible natural and cultural resource kind of back to the community. Efforts to protect, preserve the malama of this precious punawai are underway. 
a vision of a native Hawaiian cultural hale to perpetuate core Hawaiian values and traditions is sought for native Hawaiian practitioners, educators, civic clubs, and the community. Ola ikavai, water is life. E malama ikavai, cherish the water. Thank you.